Question 7 is to graph transformations of reciprocal functions. Here it is an easy, easy topic because you can directly solve this in calculators. Please write out the given function in the calculator with the variable x as it is. And then what you need to do is look into the four options because you will have graphs as four options, isn't it? Now let's calculate this at any x value. Say now you want to calculate it at 4, okay? Let's put calc 4 equal to, it's 3 fourth. Is it correct? Yes, it's very close to 1. Yes, it's about 3 fourth. Let's try some other values. Let's calc at, say, 0. What's the value? It's negative 3 fourth. How about minus 2? Calculate at minus 2, negative 0 0.37, yes. So only one graph basically gives you all the accurate points. Now, if you make this calc at, uh, say, 2 over here, you're getting undefined math error. So this is the graph. Now, when you test so many points, all the other graphs will be eliminated and you'll be leaving only with one correct answer. So this is about graphing. You will be given four different graphs as the options. Easily check this out and choose the correct answer. There's one more thing over here in this particular question mentioned domain and range and identify the asymptotes. Asymptotes in the rational functions over here make the denominator equal to zero and solve it up. In your exam you might just have graphs but still I'll just tell you what are the asymptotes here since it's mentioned. Asymptotes in order to get the vertical asymptote whatever is the denominator just make it equal to zero. It's 2x minus 4 equals 0. You will have 2x equals 4. x is 2. So you can see at x equals 2, there is no defined graph point. I mean, it's an asymptote. It goes towards 2, but it will never touch the line of 2. So that dotted line denotes an asymptote. And what about this uh, function? It's a reciprocal function. All the reciprocal functions, if there is no plus or minus any term, will have an asymptote horizontal asymptote at zero so that is the horizontal asymptote but if you have say two here then plus two then the horizontal asymptote will be at plus two the rule is that if the degree in the denominator is greater than the numerator then it will be on the um, at zero but if you have plus or anything it will be mood you know so that is about the asymptotes what about the domain and range Domain is all the x values, range is all the y values, all possible y values. Now here you can easily tell all possible real numbers are possible for the domain, but not 2. So you can see it's written like this. All x values except 2. Same with y. All y values except 0. So that would be the domain and the range. You can see range over here. All f of x. f of x means the function y, but not 0. Domain is not equal to 2. Sorry, this this answer is wrong here. It should not be equal to 2. And what are the asymptotes? Now, the asymptotes are also wrong over here. X is 2 and over here you can see the correct ones. And Y is 0. Let's see another problem. This one is similar to the previous one. Very simple. Graphing is so easy. Just put this equation in the calculator and find out the correct graph. For Domain and range, here all real numbers except 0 and 0 because the undefined point is at 0 and the range uh, is also undefined at 0 because there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So that would be the answers. Let me just go to another problem where we have something added to it. Now here, there is minus. Now if you look at the graph, you can see the asymptote is at minus 1. The domain is the denominator. X is not equal to minus 7. That's fine. But the range here will be minus 1 directly whatever is over here. Use the calculator and figure out the graph. You can also make the tables from the calculator as well. But the direct way to find out the correct graph is more easier than any other method. Here you can see the horizontal asymptote will be at minus 5. Vertical will be at the denominator equal to 0. It will be minus 2. So that's how we can easily solve all these problems. Here, yeah, please do try these problems by yourselves and then check the answers. Here you can see the denominator becomes 0 when x is 8. So basically 8 is undefined value. That is the vertical asymptote. And minus 9 is the horizontal asymptote. 
and then you just write the domain and range all real numbers except the vertical asymptote and for range you should exclude the horizontal asymptote that's it and this is the last problem please do try using the calculator for all these figure out the graph because in your exam only the graphs will be given because they have clearly mentioned graph transformations and then just have this knowledge of domain and range as well